Hello everyone. So we're uh, back with my 07 F-150 today. Today we're gonna be figuring out a way to fix the fender rot that I have going on here. Pretty common spot for these to rust out. Mine is pretty well beyond repair. This is all Bondo. Originally I tried to, you can see it's rotted here. Originally I tried to patch it with a uh, body filler and it's not working out. So I think I'm going to try to use some of this patch panel to uh, make a permanent repair on this. And we'll see uh, how it turns out. Because this looks like crap and I'm tired of it. So, yeah, we'll get started. And um, I've never done this before, so it's going to be a trial and error. We'll see what happens. All right, we got our piece cut from our stock right here. I made it about 8 inches by 15 so now what next what I'd like to do is take the steel and since it's so thin, we'll just bend it to follow the body contour. We'll see how it comes out. Bent relatively to the body. I just pulled these two bolts off the bottom here. You can see these, this fender is horribly rotted. I can just, yeah, <laughs> not a lot there. We're going to try and carefully cut this off to salvage everything from this body line lower. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we got the crap out. <laughs> there was a lot of shit in there. So next step, we got the panel. We got almost, it's pretty good to fit right, right in there. It's not bad. So I'm going to tack this thing in for the time being. And then I think the step after that might be taking the fender off and trying to match this body line. All right, now with the fender off, next step's gonna be cutting the wheel well in, grinding this all down, cleaning it up, painting. Um, I'm gonna flip it over in a second. We'll look at the backside. We'll see how we're gonna make this work. All right, so we got the, uh, all right, the wheel well's cut out just about right. And I think that's about as good a line as I'm gonna get. So what I think next I'm gonna be doing is this sideline is gonna need to run all the way down for inte structural integrity uh, and for looks too, because it's gonna look cleaner. So what I'm gonna do is get another piece of steel and try and mend it around here. And then I'm gonna weld it all in place. And then we'll cut the excess off and give us a nice line, hopefully right along there. Uh, that's what we're going for and then we'll just grind everything clean and get it painted i know it sounds simple but it's it's not it's a lot of patience a lot of uh tedious work but new fenders are almost 200 dollars a piece i don't want to spend 400 dollars to get fenders and then have to paint them from scratch on this old turd i didn't think it's worth it so this is the route i'm going about this is just some leftover plate steel that i had from uh patch kits i used on an old bed uh, some of those when the bed rails rust they have those patch kits for some reason they don't make patch kits for the front fenders even though these always rust so I'm using the steel from that matches up with the original steel pretty well so we're gonna get this ground up cleaned up get the other piece welded on and uh, we'll go from there. all right so we got this all welded up on here I think now we'll go and do the back side to make sure it's on there good and then I think right now I'm gonna cut the excess off the front of it so it is on the inside. So I'll cut the excess off the front and then uh, I might weld the back. I'm not sure yet, but we'll, we'll go from All there. All right, so I decided to weld the back of it. So I ran a quick bead along there and we cut the front down. So next step's gonna be cutting the back side down roughly. And um, yeah, let me get it cut down and I'll show you the final welded product before we grind it. All right, we got to cut down roughly. That's what we're looking for. Sadly, I don't have the old fender because it was so rotted out. I don't even remember what the edge looked like, but that's that's roughly it. Just got to clean it all up and I'll flip the fender over. You can see the front side because we got to grind that down still. Oh, jeez. Not easy to do on here. So that's what we're looking at on the front side. So we just got to grind all this nice and clean. And then once it's cleaned up, 
we can go ahead and sand it down and paint it. So stay tuned. Okay, after a lot of grinding, it looks rough, but I think I'm gonna do a quick coat of Bondo, fill in some of the small holes, but that's it. I know it doesn't look too smooth. That's why I'm gonna Bondo some of this. But overall, I think it'll fit pretty nice. All right, and we're primed. There we go. Um, not perfect, but I think it'll be pretty darn good. I told you I'm not going for perfection. I just want this thing to look half decent. I think with this bolt on the truck, it won't look too bad. So we're primed, we'll get this painted, show you the finished product, and then we'll get it back on the truck and see how it looks. And there you have it, it's painted. The only thing that'll be left is gonna be a wet sand and wax. I already wet sanded some of this because the paint was a little botched. So then we'll do the same thing down here. So, interesting thing that I love about Ford's uh, paint code UA Black is this is almost an identical match. This is the closest thing I found to it. <laughs> and it's like three bucks at Home Depot. And you can't beat it. It's almost an identical match. I'll show you how it looks on the truck, but just a little uh, hack. And there we go. It's all back together and all done. Everything lines up pretty good. It's not perfect. Obviously not perfect. I made a... Uh... I accidentally ground this down too much and the welds came apart at some point I might have to fix it but I mean it's not perfect like I said but it's definitely you know from back here definitely better than the crap that was there before and at least it's solid now it's not bubbling and put holes in it and whatnot I didn't want to paint the whole fender I just wanted to paint that portion so I tried to blend the paint the best I could but you know, it's, it's not too bad, especially when you compare to the other side. This crap show down here, <laughs> it's falling apart, so this one's going to be next. That's what always sucks about these, is you got to do it twice. So, that'll wrap it up for this one. Had to repair one of these fenders. Like I said, definitely could have done a better paint job, but I did it with rattle cans, so it could have been worse. Anyway, thanks for watching.